so in in what order should we look at stuff? Just do all the planes first, and then we'll do all the mountains afterwards. Right, but in what order should I take out planes? Up to you. So, like, we don't need to go through every plane you have, because that might take a while. Hey, uh, Jason, is there a way to zoom this camera in a bit? No, not really. Okay. Who put this motherfucking snake on this motherfucking plane? Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Oh, I forget. Do you have one of these? Yeah. Uh, so no. Sorry. I have uh, eight finished ones. I, you won that one. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, you have a request for oldest first. Oldest first? Yeah, but also talk about them. Like, tell okay. me what you don't, just, don't just dump I'm them, on, just the them on the play mat. You are just dumping them on the table. I'm getting them out so I can get ready to pick. I'm picking out the ones that I actually want to right. say Pai, things about. Pai is preparing his planes. So, oldest first, I believe that means that I start with alpha. Now, unfortunately, I only have one of them. Uh, this is alpha, perfectly normal. Except it has, uh, it's showing a bit of miscut on the back. Uh, you can see the next card. This camera is not going to let me... You can yeah, it doesn't really focus. It, it is, if I take the sleeve off, it might. Alpha test print? Uh, well, they're alpha playtest planes. Oh, right, I guess this isn't quite first. So this is a miscut on one side, normal on the other. Uh, so this is chronologically third in my binder. A third, not fourth? You don't fourth. Three? Fourth, yes. Okay. My bad. Um, that is chronologically fourth in my binder. The three that come before it are all playtest cards, which I don't know where they are in my binder. They're, you know, somewhere. Wherever I have playing cards. Um, so I have... Three generations of alpha playtest planes. Um, the first one is white cardstock. Yeah, so, so for those of you who are not aware, there were three generations of pre-alpha uh, playtest runs. They're generally known as alpha, beta, and gamma, uh, and they were all uh, they were all printed differently and available to different circles of people. So this is an alpha playtest alpha planes. Um, this is a beta alpha playtest planes, and this is a gamma alpha playtest planes. Not only are the colors a little different, obviously the gamma one has the giant W, um, which looks a lot more familiar to, you know, newer planes that have this giant uh, white mana symbol at the bottom. Um, and these are chronologically in my collection, first, second, third. Uh, the the actual alpha one that was printed comes after that. So the uh, the the three of clubs uh, are not what they originally came on. Right. The, the three of clubs are just things that I put in the sleeves uh, so that they fit better in my binder. Um, because three of clubs is the most random card to to pick. Um, this is not quite chronological, but these are in the same page of the binder. Uh, these next three are from Spectral Chaos. Spectral Chaos also had three generations of playtesting. Spectral Chaos was a set that never got released, but a lot of the cards did get pushed into other sets like Alliances and Strongholds. When was the development? I don't know. You would have to ask Tavis or Keith. Okay. Uh, so, Generation 1, Generation 2, and Generation 3 which is actually a, a full-size piece of cardstock that has a, a hand-drawn white sun uh, for the mana symbol. In yellow on white, the easiest color to see. Um, Hi. Do you mind if I post on your account that you're showing off your plans on stream? Um, the Spectral Chaos ones uh, on the backs have... Uh, designs that also differ between generations. Um, so this is generation one uh, with a uh, with rainbow over the hills. Generation two 
it's all serene over the hills, but there's a nice path going through the hills, and there's people playing, hanging out. I believe that Generation 3 is far more boring. Um, yeah, Generation 3 is blank. So those are the only six playtest plane. Er, those are the only six uh, playtest cards that are planes that I own that are from Wizards of the Coast. Um, I also have some playtest cards from when Kevin was getting back into Magic. Um, this is an authentic uh, playtest card. It's just not an official playtest card. Um, the the yellow borders are from another trading card game that. Uh, was uh, printed at Cardamundi. Uh, so by the way, can you go back to the uh, playtest cards for a second? Sure, the, which one? The rainbow over the hills. Is that hand drawn? I believe it is. Um, it is not hand drawn on the card. It is printed onto the card. Uh, probably the design itself was hand drawn. But what was actually hand drawn is the yellow uh, sun here was drawn with pen onto the card itself. Uh, when I look, I can see slight indentations where the pen went. Um. By the way, uh, if you want to look at the people, you should look at the camera on the screen. Yeah. This is like looking at the people. This is actually looking at the people. They're, they're close. Streamers don't look at the camera. At least the streamers that I watch don't. They look at the video games. Yeah, of course. <laughs> they look at the hard platformers. Um, so I showed you Alpha. I have a couple of beta cards. Uh, not all of them have made it into the binder yet. So, crimps show best out of sleeves. Uh, don't worry, I, I am wearing um, white gloves. It's just a special fra fabric. Um, only the most intelligent people in the kingdom can see the, the white fabric on my uh, cloth gloves. So don't worry, I, I am treating my cards with care. Um, so th this one is the uh, most minor of my beta crimps. It's crimped along this edge, and I cannot really get it on to show on camera, but I assure you it is there. Uh, maybe you can see it there. It's also really bent. It, it's also not in great condition. It's got creases all over it. Uh, I'm being very careful with it. Don't worry. Other people weren't. Um, this one is far more severe. As I move it back and forth, you can you can see where the crimp is. Uh, on sort of on both sides. By the way, the front is easier to see. Hi, I think some of those planes are not alpha. I said these are beta. Uh, the Keith messaged you and said maybe the playtest cards are not alpha. Oh. Hey, uh, so Keith, I assume you're watching. What uh, what are they? And are you, I assume you're talking about the playtest cards, right? Which which playtest cards are not alpha and which ones are uh, and what are they? I'm going to take them out and put them on the table where there is wonderful glare. He does need to shut them again. By the way, I'm glad you're here, Keith. Yeah, we forgot to call you because stuff was going on. <laughs> Reduce some glare. Uh, there's less glare at the bottom because of the way the light is. So, like, if you move them lower down. I mean, if I take them out of the sleeve. That also helps, yeah. Then they don't appear to have glare. Uh, so, pink is Ice Age Mirage. This is Ice Age Mirage? I thought the, those ones had something on the back. Did they not? 
Some generations do. Okay. Oh, sorry, that's the menagerie I'm thinking of. Not, I don't think all menagerie is it. Well, menagerie became Mirage. Some of the menagerie ones that he has say magic the menagerie on them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, probably so this one is Ice Age then? Uh, Ice Age was playtested while Alpha was being printed before it was released, which still puts it before said, Spectral Chaos. He said early, early Ice Age Mirage. Er, yeah. Okay. Uh, the blue and gray are early Ice Age for sure. These two? Do I not then have an Alpha? Shit, I guess you don't. Oh. Where'd you get them? I got them from Keith, I just forgot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what Pi is saying is that if you have Is that I should Alpha take planes, better notes. He wants them. I should be writing on my threes of clubs yeah, what so they actually should, are. Uh, yeah, writing on threes of clubs sounds like a good idea. I thought you were about to say writing on playtest cards, <laughs> and I was about to hit you. Yeah, well, we've got some Sharpies you can use. Oh. Isaac's got the good one. Uh, yeah, he says you do not have any alpha. Alas. D does he say he has any spare alphas? Uh, he has not. Okay. Not yet. Uh, third, crimped beta planes. This one crimped on top. And the... The final beta planes that I have. See, I, I know what these ones are because I I understand alpha and beta. I don't understand playtests. Oh, the gamma ones are the ones with the airplanes. Mm, okay. Um, this beta planes is normal on the front, but on the back it has that white splotch. Um, this is the most recent of my beta planes that I acquired. Um, Colors are good in beta. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my favorite artwork from beta. If you have the other artwork, uh, hills with with trees in the background, I am looking for a beta planes with an error with that artwork. Um, I have... With my favorite artwork. And, and an error. Misprinted. Any error. Any error. Um... Here I have a revised miscut, and this one is factory cut. Uh, it comes with a lovely certificate of authenticity from Ben Matthews. Is that even his name? That's how I pronounce his name. Okay. I haven't met him in person, so I haven't heard him pronounce his name. I, I have met him in person, but I didn't actually yeah, ask him how he pronounced Matthews his name. Matthews or Mathis, either way. Was... Hey, hey, Matt, how does Ben pronounce his last name? Matthews? Okay. I mean, that's how it's spelled. Really, really, like, generally personable guy. He is, nice yes. Guy. Um, so, most revised miscuts uh, that we see are not factory cut, but this one, he has, uh, he's putting his name on it saying, yes, it is factory. Yeah, he, and, he got it from the person who opened it out of a starter deck. And that's good for me. Uh, the card above is a dark ritual. Um, yes. Uh, because it, there aren't very many black commons that are not creatures in Revised that were uh, drawn by uh, Sandra Everingham, and that was enough to narrow it down to one card. Um, have a bunch of other Revised ones. The NFCs? Uh, I have a couple NFCs. This Revised card has lovely dark black borders on the back if we compare it to you know another card with slightly blacker borders um so this one is is regular cut i believe most of my revised errors are not miscuts just because revised nfc is so prevalent um yeah none of them have i don't appear to have any revised with normal front uh, offset back or something similar. Uh, crimped revised. It's a minor crimp, and I'm having trouble getting crimps to show on camera, so I'm. Yeah, it's always difficult. You need something to reflect. Like if you have like a flashlight or something. Um, alternate fourth. I don't have a black light here, but. Wait, where's your double print? Double print? Oh, it's a uh, in the deck. You gotta show that one. That one's amazing. It is. It's it's not double though. It's. Is it more than double? Yes. Okay. It is certainly more than double. Um, what Isaac just mentioned 
was this card, which uh, is I uh, gonna be impossible to show just how blurry it is. Yeah, it's always hard to show on camera. Um, this is a quadruple print planes from Revised. Uh, looking at the period is is easiest to see. Uh, four periods, and I can can't. Turn on the autofocus. I can. Uh, I don't know how. I just know this you can. is. Even if it's focused, it's not on focus. Yeah. Like that uh, may not actually even help. <laughs> no, it will, because then like it'll be the planes and not the camera. This camera isn't on. Which cameras are we using? Using that one. Using that one. Yeah, no, it's called the deck. It's Deck check. Okay. Tech uh, properties. Configure video. Oh, this is a different camera. Yeah, settings. Yeah, not going to. Not going to figure out how to do that. Uh, um. Planes. Uh, I just called you planes. Yes. I. Uh, Isaac is good at names. Yes, Isaac. Is the uh, <laughs> is the is that from uh, Ben's sheet that he just opened, or is that different? Uh, how long ago did Ben open it? Recently, or he only got it recently. He wanted it on. Oh no, it is not. It came before that. Um, yes, that is a. I have had that one for longer than that post has been on the group. In the group, um, I have very few snow-covered planes with errors. If you have them, I would like more. I have some. Um, They're not for trade. I'm just telling you. That's nice, Isaac. I have a crappy offset. I, I have a bunch of planes uh, that you would want. Uh, they're also not for trade. Oh, okay. So yeah, there. Also, Keith wants to show you some pictures of uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Um, so this planes has too much cyan. Uh, ending about down to here, um, and is the only snow-covered planes in my binder. Ooh, Savannah. Keith has good pictures. It's almost like he's been doing this. It's almost as like as though he's been doing this for a while, and <laughs> I I'm told that it is an exaggeration to say he has a bunch of playtest cards. I don't think that's an exaggeration. Uh, Keith, depends on how you define Keith a might bunch. disagree with you. Depends on how you define a bunch. Um, to avoid showing literally every single planes that I have here, skipping a few, um, I have these two nice uh, sheet edge planes from Tempest. Um, sheet edge ones I, I like more than other miscuts. I think a lot of people do. Um, but I don't have very many, so it's easy to save time by... Uh, not showing most of the miscuts. Um, I don't quite know when chronologically some other things are. I do know that alternate 4th and 4th edition are pretty close to each other. Um, these 4th edition planes uh, do not have black ink on the front. Um, the, Is that all three arts? Yes, I have one of each artwork. Nice. Trees, no trees, uh, beta artwork. Um, were, were the trees also in what? Yeah. They're all in beta, but this one wasn't in alpha. Oh, so okay. I call so it the beta artwork. Okay, got it. It's the newest of the that's, three that's fair, yeah. ones. Um, this one, I probably can't get it to show very well on camera, but there are yellow streaks going some thin yellow lines going across the text box were ink smeared and I'm giving up now on getting that show on camera. It's not my camera, blame Jason. Yeah, a number of the, uh... A number of these look a lot better in person. Yeah, well, a number of the 4th edition... This, this is one sheet of 4th uh, of edition that was printed without black. Um, there have been two pre-cons... Or, excuse me, two starter decks opened so far that, uh, that have no black. Where all of the lands have no black. 
One of them was opened actually fairly recently, the other one was many years ago. Uh, and it's assumed that there's probably another one out there since a sheet is, uh, is more cards than have been opened. Um, and interestingly, many of them have additional smears of ink on the front or even on the back, like uh, this one Pi is showing right now. It has tons of magenta smears and over here a small cyan smear above the E in Deckmaster. Which sort of it sort of shows up that there's something there. It's another uh, smear, um, which I got on my favorite of the original three artworks. Uh, Peter's asking why you use smoked sleeves. Um, I use smoked sleeves because these sleeves aren't quite opaque enough, and I care very much about the legality of playing my miscut, misprinted EDH deck in sanctioned events. Yeah, in, in other words, he's a terrible person. Yes, I am a horrible person. Like, the, the way you tell how good a person is, is by looking at their sleeves. If they if they use, like, normal perfect fits, they're a good person. Uh, if Anything they use else? normal perfect fits but sleeve them with the opening on the top, then they're, like, a questionable person. If they use smoke Ooh. sleeves, then you have some problems. If they use the side loaders, they just, like, you need to run away. Whoa! I think perfect fits with both... With, with double open up top is chaotic neutral, right? Um, yeah, that's chaotic neutral, I think. Yeah. I, uh, side loaders is all just the evil side. I will say, yeah, sure. there oh, yeah. there is a... I do believe I have found a legitimate use for side loaders. Oh, yeah, no, that, that is a legitimate use. Uh, oh, no, never mind. I, I replaced it. For a while, I didn't have uh, perfect fits in the correct size for this. And I had it sleeved in two side loading perfect fits with a little bit of overlap in the middle around the A. But now I have a. I guess this is also sort of side loading based on the shape of normal cards. If you put a normal card in here, you can side load it and have it fit snugly. So that was fourth. Um, test prints should come at some point. I like them more than Isaac does. Test oh. prints are boring. Test prints are boring. You want to know what else is boring? These cards that I'm pulling out. Um, revised with with a slight uh, misprint that it says illustrated copyright 1994 Jesper Nerfos. And also this slight misprint where the colors have too much saturation. Also, are those artists correct? I don't know if the planes ones are correct. Um, Jesper Nerfos did draw that according to this beta planes. Okay, yeah. And also, yes, uh, Jesper did all of the original three things. Okay, yeah. Um, have you met him, by the way? I've, yes, I have met Jesper. He's a nice guy. Uh, I got him to sign some NFCs, some NFC duels, because... Yay. They're NFCs, it doesn't matter. Yeah, fair. Um, and one of uh, them had a card he'd drawn at the top, but didn't have any artwork by him uh, from that card, but he did offer to sign the card because he designed the uh, card frame itself. Yeah. He was the original art director, right? Yeah, Jesper yeah. was the original art director. And also did a lot of the um, art. He, he is fun. Um, now for now for the... Um, the, the this is going to be out of order chronologically, but I want to do a bunch of test prints together. Uh, Bibison is telling you that three out of four Japanese Mirage planes have the artist name misprinted. Three out of four. Neat. I trust him on this sort of thing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too, yeah. Um, so the the most boring test prints, according to Isaac, and I mean, he's not wrong. No, 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 no. Uh, the, the planeswalkers with no text are more boring than those. The what? The planeswalkers with no text. Oh, yes. The, the most boring um, basic land test prints, okay. according to Isaac, come from M15, uh, where... It just looks like a plans. I mean, it's got the spec here and here. I guess it says planes test card. It's not nearly as cool as the ones that said test printing in big letters. Or really, this one is gorgeous. It's, um, it looks a whole lot like the summer one. Um, but it doesn't have all of that ugly text. It, textless cards just look better. Also, the, the, the modeling of the text box is slightly different from the summer. Yes. Uh, so, so, so seriously, though, for the M15 cards, they actually are kind of cool because these stamps um, used different 
foiling. Uh, for example, on one of the M planes, the foiling is from a Chinese tobacco company. Uh, on another of the M planes, the foiling, uh, I don't think we figured out what it's from, but it has English letters. Uh, which, which one is which? I don't remember which one is which. Uh, I forget. Yeah, I don't remember which one is which, but they're cool. There's there's a post in the group about them, like if you scroll back a ways or, or search for it. Uh, there's a post with some, some nice microscope pictures of them uh, and figuring out what the text is. Uh, and then, is there anything interesting on the, the, the kind of Innistrati ones? Um, I think the Innistrati ones is similar to the uh, other M's. I don't think... I think I'm seeing YZZ on this as well. It's a really good song. Oh, this is an N. I don't know. It, it has some letters on it. I don't know what it's from. It's not at all the same material that they... The same foiling uh, material that they used in... Uh, for actual foil stamps, it's just whatever they happen to have lying around. Don't forget the RTR one that has. Um... Uh, it's in another section of the binder. Um, currently, I'm I'm looking at the ones that I happen to have in an EDH deck. There are there's um, five different foil stamps in M15. There's the red M. There's the gold M. There's the Innistrad. Uh, silver Innistrad set symbol. Then there's a circle and a diamond. Uh, the These two are the only ones that I play in this deck. The other three stay in the binder, uh, which is not the not organized the best for this particular thing. Um, jumping forward a bit, um, in 8th edition, the card frame changed. Uh, it did not change to this, but... I kind of wish it had, but a lot of people but don't then, like but then it. Those and the art, sweet test prints. those would just be like normal cards. Yeah, but these have white backs. That's, they would look like artist proofs. That's true. Hey, if these are artist proofs, then clearly I should I should contact Don and Alan and ask them to sign them and put doodles on the back. What? What? These artist proofs. Sorry, these test prints are way more common than. Most other test prints. Yes, they're right back. You should have them just do the magic back. Just have them draw the magic back. In in, in black and white? Ah, do full color. Splurge a little. But just a sketch, not like a, a great re uh, I mean, you, I, either way. I'm mm. sure someone would love to do like a high, high detail magic back. And, um, just, like, initial and then a third person did the, the frame layout. So I don't know which one that person gets to do the one. The um, to answer uh, Peter's question, the the price range on the eighth edition test prints uh, varies oh. a lot. Uh, I would say uh, anywhere be for non foils, anywhere between a hundred and a thousand. I don't know. Yeah, that seems reasonable for the for the. Um, Wish I could help more, but the islands might be a little bit more than a thousand. Not a lot more. Uh, I mean, what did you get? I got Eric's I got for Eric's it. for exactly a thousand. Okay, I think that that was kind of high. Uh, yeah. Who? Anybody's gonna deal on mountains for me? Uh, I mean, who, so have you seen his asking who created the magic card back? That was um. That was also Jesper. Yes. Was Jesper? I believe that was Jesper. Chris Rush did the mana symbols. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the back the back should I believe that was Jesper. Uh, and and for those of you who have heard that the. Uh, the little blue line in the uh, deck masters is a pen mark that is not accurate. That is supposed to be there. Um. However, unlike these, which are quite common, uh, planes with parallax tied artwork are not as common and are also foil and are a lot nicer. I I don't I disagree. They don't look like planes. It looks like parallax tied. It says planes right there. It looks like a plane. It looks like a planes. It says so right there in the top. Card disagrees right. with you. And that's not quite that's, the it's, it's, If anything, it's an island, right? Like, it shows a bunch of water. Oh, it looks like a mountain, like a mountain to me. It, it's not... 
Like, it looks more like stones than, like, water. I don't know. It has a weird artwork. Actually, I think that the person who designed, who drew Parallax Tide is the is the person who did uh, the card frame. I'm, I'm not not certain. I actually need to double check who did the card frame. Or the the newer, or the, this card frame. Carl uh, Critchlow did Parallax Tide. Okay. Mm, I don't, that name doesn't sound too familiar to me. You guys see who did the, the 8th edition test frame? Yeah. I assume uh, Tyler's knows. Yeah. Yeah. Is he uh, playing? That person right there who is currently in the game uh, does know. Okay. Um, and then some color border tests, which I agree with Wizards, they're kind of ugly. But I like them anyway. Yeah, Wizards, Wizards tested them, decided these are awful, let's not do these. Yeah. And uh, I, I agree with them. So some of the basic lands look okay, but it would... If you had to pick one color for a set, then yeah, this set is blue, and we have all these green cards with blue borders and black cards with blue borders, and it would it wouldn't work. It wouldn't feel right. Uh, I'm I'm glad that they tested it because it means I have some sweet cards, uh, and I'm glad that they didn't do it because it means the cards look better now. And these are white backed, by the way. Yes. Um. You can the sleep is transparent. Oh, I see. <laughs> Remember, you believe I'm a horrible person. Well, you can still see the the white; it just looks gray. You can still see the. Ple- you can also just you can also just turn those sleeves over because those are white on the back. So you would oh, those aren't white on the back. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> All right, I was wrong. Okay. Do we agree that I know my sleeves better than you do? Okay, fine. I um, thought they were white on the back. So like a couple of bickering. I mean, you're not far off. Um, I do not have a miscut from unglued. I just have two crimps. One of these, uh, until very recently, was in my EDH deck. But uh, on Friday, when there were four of us here, it got replaced with a light printed unstable planes. Uh, do you have a regular planes to put for comparison so that the lighting um, is not great? So, colors are clearly more vibrant on this one, uh, and not only on the fronts, but on the backs. Uh, ignore the, the word magic here, because that's what the misprint on this one is, but just in, in the circles, this one is clearly faded. Um, yeah, uh, Tyler... I think this one is a bit dark. I'll, I'll swap that out. Tyler, uh, yes, there are... Uh, I know of two sheets of miscut unglued lands, and then there are also some other unglued miscuts. I think uh, Atan collects those. Um, but yes, there is there is an upward miscut and slightly tilted sheet of uh, unglued lands, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I have one. Kevin has one. Um, and then there's also... Uh, Pied Pied is not of one. Uh, and then there's also a side miscut sheet that I've only ever seen an island from, and that one is also very beautiful. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, excuse me, I'm wrong. Uh, there might be there might be two side miscut sheets because I've seen I've actually seen two islands uh, that that were miscut differently. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 hold up. You, Abyssin, you've seen a multi-printed unglued sheet. What uh, what rarity? Top bottom. Oh wow. Well, hold on, hold on. You see, you seen a lot of things. So, heavy, uh, heavy multi-printed sheet. Top bottom miscut. Um. Uh. What is you see? Underground. Oh, uncommon. Oh, uncommon plus token. Uh. Common, common double prints and rare. Okay, so you've seen a lot of sheets. How many? Uh, have you seen any basic land sheets other than the ones I mentioned? This is this is what's important to us. You see. If you want none, things that are not basic lands, you are in the wrong stream at this moment. <laughs> yeah, I have this filler. filler. That, that's a thing. Um, a, uh, if you could, yeah, if you could send me those pictures of ABC, I'd really appreciate it. A four square corner uh, starter planes. Oh, that's it, nice. Yeah, I picked this up within the past, I want to say, three months. Okay. May, maybe a bit longer than that. 
Uh, Tyler, there is not though there is not currently a comprehensive database of sheets. Uh, there is a librarian's thread with a lot of uh, that has pictures of old uncut sheets for that that thing. There there is not a, a sh there is not any sort of database of miscuts because there are just far too many miscut sheets to keep track of. Um, most uh, most collectors. Like we'll keep track of the things they collect. Like I know what a lot of the basic land miscut sheets are. Pi knows what a lot of the plains miscuts are. Um, but any comprehensive database would be very difficult to maintain because while miscuts are rare, there are still many thousands of sheets that have been miscut over the course of the game. So it would be it would be very difficult. So this is a Whoa, crypt. Hey, you're gonna want to see this comment. Uh, I have a dull cut summer plains. Dull cut as in it, as in like it's a little torn, like the the blades were dull. It was just boring. <laughs> what is what does dull cut mean here? Paper fragments on the ends. Yeah, I assume. That, that's my guess. Um, I I have a, a an unhinged planes with a slight crimp at the top, which. I'm not gonna. I, I'm just mentioning it. It doesn't show up very well on camera. Uh, the next script that I have will show up pretty well. Um, and I have some foil miscut planes. It uh, shows the name box of the card below it. Yeah, the top has excess cards. On. Another one. Ooh. Summer. Ooh. Uh, this one even has some of the uh, card frame itself below. And. As does this one, but also when I got this one, uh, John Avon had already uh, scribbled some extra stuff on it, including his signature. So I hear he doesn't do many altars, but I have a John Avon altered foil miscut full art planes from him. And even though it's been horribly um, ruined, by all of this ink on it, it still happens to be the one that I play with, so everyone who hates altars on miscuts, you can cringe and be upset. Um, That's nice. So, this vertical miscut, this vertical crimp, um, you can see. I mean, you can also see, like, a lot of glare. Oh, he does have a playtest copy of the Tapster Red. What? He has a playtest copy of the Tapster Red. Um, it's a very nice crimp. Uh, one of the nicest things about it, in my opinion, is just how severe this crimp is. Um, if I were to perform the light test on this planes... This light doesn't is in. You can see some spots. You can see some. Yeah, no. I can't. I'm. I can't see it on the stream. I, I can. I'm looking there. I didn't. Oh, okay. Try this one. I was going to get on my phone, but your phone's already out. Let's blind stream. No, no. Pull it farther up. It was better farther up because you can see the difference. No, no, no. Pull the planes up, like vertically up, towards the camera. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So, there, these holes go all the way through the planes. Um, in person, seeing the light passing through it is great. Um, holding it up to a, to a light, you can see light passing through it where the holes are. Can you do that again? Hmm? You um, And I believe that Keith has... Uh, I I don't have another. I think that's my only vertical mis my my only vertical crimp planes. Uh, Keith has another, and I have a foreign rancor that I would like to trade you at some point. Had you come here, I would have made that offer in person. Um. Need to double check something. Oh. Don't destroy our streams.
I have no idea how many times it's printed. It kind of looks more just streaked across um, than any specific number of printings. I think I was told three or four printings. Um, I have uh, I have three different artworks uh, out of the four from the set. Isaac's also having trouble telling just how many printings of black there are. Uh, they look quite bold in person because of how big the black text is. There are four. You say there's four? Yes. Cool. You say it tells on the rise of the dragon system. Ah, okay. I had remembered, I, I thought it was four, but didn't want to overstate how cool they are. Oh, never mind. I, I have a second vertical crimp. Uh, it's not nearly as severe. Uh, none of the uh, holes go all the way through. It's also not as wide. Um, this one is so much deeper. Um, but I do have two. whole bunch of miscuts from core sets. They look like miscuts. Hi right, Tyler, thanks for joining us. See you later. Um, to go with some of the other uh, playtest planes, I, I have a, uh, two more that were already in my binder. I picked this one up today. More Pokemon cards. Yeah, so these are these are even cooler than the uh, than the, the other color border test prints because those, those were just white backs, but these actually have the Pokemon backs. So, yes, uh, out of the six colors of uh, color border test prints, uh, I have examples of five of them. Uh, there were exactly two planes on the sheet, and I have both of them from the sheet that got cut up. Um, of, there, of the other ones, I am missing yellow, and that's why it's, it's great that I, I... It's not a yellow border test print to go with them, but it is a yellow border playtest. Um, you did explain what those actually were, right? What? You explained what those actually were, right? The Pokemon cards? Yeah. I think I did. From when someone was testing decks getting back into the game. I think I have more of these than Isaac does. Oh, wow. All right. I see how it is. Yeah. Do you want me to show you how many more planes than, than you I have of some certain types? I can. Of certain types, yeah. Are they as cool as this? Uh, yes. They're much cooler because they're old border. That's nice, yeah. <laughs> uh, old friend does one. So, as I mentioned, I like Sheet Edge. I particularly like Sheet Edge that says something, even if the something that it says is CM plate KBA 200 in... Par 105 and 106, which is... Uh, I don't know what it means. Uh, a BBC, and just to clarify, the Pokemon Back to Planes is not actually a real card. Uh. These are playtest cards from when Kevin Gardner was getting back into Magic and wanted to test out a bunch of different decks by playing with them. So he was doing some playtesting, and before buying a whole bunch of cards, uh, he, uh, he printed out a whole bunch of cards and glued them onto his daughter's Pokemon cards. So by the way, the where's the text one? Yeah, so this this says CM plate KBA, okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure what all this means. CM is gonna be Carta Mundi, probably. Um, however, actually, actually, where it was uh, Commander 2014 printed at Carta Mundi or PBM? Uh, that is a question for, I would, do. I would ask, uh, Lexus or Agabus. Okay, yeah. And then KBA is actually the type of press they use. Um, and I do not know what the other data text is. Actually, I would just... I, I think that that information is on Liberty somewhere. But, Probably, yeah. But I trust... It, it also will usually say on the packaging, it'll say printed at such and such. Yep. If we had the packaging for... Do I not? Ooh, okay. Um, the Elspeth vs. Kiora dual decks had a bunch of uh, twisted miscut planes. I have a couple pages worth of these in my binders. Um, 
This one has sheet edge with color bar on the back. Um, color bar is better than text, is better than blank, is better than another card. In my opinion. Buffalo Lisa Strap, sorry. I think that matches, I think that matches most people's opinions. Um, people are allowed to have different opinions. People are allowed to be wrong. Uh, sometimes these things coincide. Um, I'm going to not eat buffalo wings while flipping through my binder. That's probably a good plan. Yeah. Um, I'll let you, yeah. One thing that you, I yeah. <laughs> particularly like about some cards um, is uh, asking people what set various cards were printed in, or, or where various cards were printed. Uh, because this is this is an Origins Magic Origins expansion symbol and Blossoming Sands, which was not in Origins. Um, now, the answer we know is that there was a pre-constructed deck that had cards, I think in Origins pre-constructed deck, that had uh, the tap lands from Cons of Tarkir or Fate Reforged, uh, but basic lands from Origins. Uh, but it's, it's fun to ask this of people who are just flipping through things, or when you play with them, um, do, 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 do bunch of stuff, bunch of missed cuts, some some weird splotches running across cards, uh, dark lines coming down from the dark streaks coming down from the top. That's a nice one. Um, Isaac may have more. Uh, old frames. I'm not certain. He thinks he has more old frames, and he, he might be right, but I have more full arts. Uh, do you want to bet? Of just planes? Yeah. Uh, I've seen. I think I've seen your Unstable collection. That I, I think that, yes. You might have a bunch of Battlefield cards, but. Alright. Uh, what sort of bets do you like to make? Um, I like bets that involve basic lands on both sides. On both sides? On both sides. Yeah. Well, if you want something that's not a basic land, right, I'm gonna buy both on my side. Um, full art foils that have stuff trapped uh, between the foil, b between the cardboard. Oh, that's very cool. Um, I'm not sure what is trapped between it, but there is something that will show better without the sleeve. That that damage is not caused from bending. It is raised on this side. It is also raised on this side. There is something stuck in there. Is it, is it something or is it an air bubble? Uh, this is something. You should x-ray it. It's probably just more paper. Probably. It's probably crumbled up paper that got stuck in the cardstock. Yeah, Jason, Jason Gitlin uh, has a card similar to that, and he, he took it to his dentist and x-rayed it. There's also an air bubble in this one, but... Uh, there's a, a physical thing. This one uh, has a lot of air bubbles in it. Uh, they look really nice in the foiling. I remember when that one came up in the group. That thing is amazing looking. Um... Ink blotches, missing color, uh, look particularly nice when there there's very little, if any, uh, yellow in the set symbol. Uh, so on this one, there there's a coloration error uh, where the yellow doesn't show up in this blotch, and because it it sort of cuts through the bottom of the set symbol. There's also no yellow a bit further down from that, and I, I, I like the way it looks. Uh, I showed that one. Uh, what's wrong with that? I have no idea what's wrong with this one. Probably an ink box somewhere. Uh, do, 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 do. What here is cool? Uh, I have a bunch of unstable planes. I am uninterested in picking up more 
slightly miscut unstable planes unless they're foil or really cheap or not actually very minor at all. Um, uh, this one has just the tiniest bit of a mountain on the left side. Uh, it's it's very clearly at least off center just from looking at the that line going across. Uh, but there there is some mountain showing on this edge. It is not a sheet edge. Uh, Isaac and I have only ever seen uh, planes on the left edge of the unstable sheets. Yeah, so the unstable sheets were not organized. Uh, mo most land sheets are organized with um, going across uh, going across the sheet. It will be plains, island, swamp, mountain, forest, plains, island, swamp, mountain, forest, etc. Uh, and of course, since the sheets are 11 cards wide, um, it will not... Uh, it, it's an evenly repeating pattern, but it'll shift as you go down the, the rows. But the unstable sheet was not like that. It actually just has um, an entire column of all the same land, and then the next column over of all the same land. So it goes, um, uh, and, and it also does not go in color order. Uh, I don't know the full order, but on the left edge is a whole column of planes, which is why those are all the sheet edge. Um, and then other colors in the middle. I, I don't know the order, although I actually think uh, I do know of an unstable land sheet that was given out at some tournament. So hopefully I'll be able to get a picture of that. If anyone has seen one, I'd be curious to see one. Here's a nice color bar on the sheet edge planes. Uh, Peter wants to know how many of the Evolving Wilds and spots you have. Bunch. I could count them. I just Ju don't know. Judging by the ones I've seen him buy, I mean, he probably has around 20 or so. Does that sound accurate? No. No? More than that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> More than that. Bunch. Um, these two, uh, Jason, who is providing the computer for this, also brought a great uh, microscope that is, which isn't working right now, but it was working yesterday. And let me tell you, uh, these two planes, which kind of looked a bit faded in colors, washed out maybe from here, looked amazing uh, under the microscope. Um, uh, you can see where the error is. The text is basically completely obscured. This is in focus. Yeah. So, the, uh, like the if you if you look at the look at the type line and the name, you'll notice that they're they're almost not there. Uh, it, we don't know exactly what caused this, but basically there's a bunch of extra black ink, uh, and also the ink is getting smeared around. So the black ink that should have been on the name and type line is not there. It's just smeared all over the card, and so you can't actually see the text. And, um, and there are some other examples of these where the smearing is not over the whole card, and I think those look cooler, but I don't think you have any of those. Yes, I, I just have these two from with that error. Um, uh, no, these are not foil. These are non-foil. I don't know if we've... We've seen a, a number of this type of error, not all on basic lands. I don't know if we've seen any on foils. I don't think I have... Uh, yes, yeah, so a lot of these do have extra errors on the back. I think some of Pies do. Yes, one of mine has... Uh, bit of a splotch on it. I can pull that one back out. In the top of the oval above the eye in magic, there's a dot for the eye. It's off center. Um, and in my opinion, Walled is a planes where there is an error when translating the sheet. It's not a translation error. It, I just said an error in translating the sheet. Sure, they, they put the they put the text for the wrong card on the wrong art. Uh, while translating the sheet, they, they just grabbed the wrong file. Um, and to go I, I wouldn't with, even call it translating the sheet. I would call it building the sheet because they have a separate text file and image file, and they just put the wrong text file onto the image file. But the translation is separate. No. Yeah, it's, it's translation. Uh, BBCN is agreeing with me, by the way. It's not a translation error. Yeah. Translation is when you're changing words from one language into another. Translate. Yeah, but Tavis agrees with me. No, he doesn't. Um, and this is another one. As you can see, it is not a walled. It is however you pronounce the German translation of Prodigal Sorcerer. 
Um, it doesn't show up super well on the camera, but it is double printed. And also, the back is fine. So, I am very fond of this planes. It gets to be in the EDH deck, while all those other ones don't, because they're lame. Uh, well, they're not lame. They're just not a... It, I have more of it than I would like. If you, if you think your planes are lame, I mean, I'd be happy to take them off your hands. Uh, sure. I, is your money lame? Is my money lame? I don't know. Is my money lame? I, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. I'll take it. I mean, I'm fine with this trade. I'll take, I'll, I'll, you can have some of my money, and I'll take some of your planes. Sure. This is you can I'll, have these ones. No, I don't want those. <laughs> <laughs> you just said. I don't want those. Okay. Um... That's that section done. There are a couple more planes in this section that haven't gotten to. Uh, my miscuts with connectors are in a different section of my binder. So I have some planes with connectors. Um, uh, that's from a pre-con. The planes is from... Shadows of Rhinestrad, the Blighted Step is from Battle for Zendikar, uncommon, and the Gideon's Reproach is Battle for Zendikar, common. Um, do, 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 that's planes, and that's planes. These two are planes, and I have two connectors between them that are not planes, uh, and also two connectors below those ones, which also are not planes and I was told I was asked to show planes so I'm not showing those even though I you know, consistency um, do some nice normal Lorwyn cards um, and these normal Lorwyn cards have normal backs with normal color bars. I mean, these are normal backs. You just usually can't see them, but this is perfectly normal. Yeah. Uh, and I also have another Lorwyn Plains with another color bar that is notably not as tall as the other ones. It, it, this one is not as severely miscut or shifted on the back. Uh, I, I've looked to try to see an angle. I do believe that there are uh, multiple sheets of this. And I've only seen planes with sheet edge uh, from these sheets. I have some islands that were not sheet edge. That I guess Isaac doesn't want because he only likes front errors. I mean, if there is also on the back, that's fine. The front just needs to look different. Um, here are the other three... Uh, stamp tests, circular dot, diamond dot, gold M. It's about all there is to them. They say test card on them. They might be tests. Um, all of the basic lands in M15 had uh, five variations. What? Uh, the five different stamps, except planes, had an extra one. Um, as I'm sure you're aware, uh, this artwork was not done by John Avon, which isn't going to focus, but it does say John Avon, and um, and that's the that is a good way to tell that. Uh, this is a test print because the artist name is wrong. Uh, the other way to tell is that Return to Ravnica came before the uh, the new frame that came with M15. Um, so Return to Ravnica set symbol, M15 card frame, uh, shouldn't have happened except for test prints. Maybe Sin is asking if you have any of the Shards of Alara planes with the Spanish Portuguese advertisements. I do not. Do you? That. Yeah. Um, I do have Portuguese foil 
Odyssey uh, four square cornered planes. Uh, I have one of each artwork uh, with the uh, Thunder Tree planes in the EDH deck. Um, someone thinks that these are test prints. Uh, Tavis is looking for an Odyssey foil n normal card to compare to. Yes, if anyone has a uh, Odyssey Portuguese foil, doesn't matter what the card is, uh, Tavis will be interested. Until he gets one, at which point yeah. he will stop being interested. Yep. He might even pay top dollar for shipping. And, you know, not much of the card. Um, that is... Oh yeah, I, I have this Guru Planes that is in the wrong binder. You can't show this on a Misprint Con stream. What is this? This is the Misprint Con stream. Uh huh, that's nice. Uh, Does that mean I also can't show altars? Oh hey. What else in this pile did I not hey. show off? Tavis. Sheet edge. Uh, another sheet edge with color bar. No? Oh, these are. Hey, Tavis. Uh, if you're still looking for Portuguese um, foils to test against the test prints, Avivi Sun says he has some. Avivi Sun. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. You, you could say hi. Hello. Yes, he's watching. I think he sent me a message or something, but I haven't responded. If you yet. move into the uh, yeah, back camera. Farther over. Aha! Hello! Hi! <laughs> um, these are from the uh, triple printed make readies uh, with unlimited front, with unlimited fronts and uh, unlimited and antiquities backs. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, the, the planes are on the correct side, so that must be the front. Um, I really like the planes in part because the text that's a lot easier to read comes from the planes, and the artwork that's a lot easier to see comes from the other card. Um, Tavis has one of the ones that I'm missing, and I intend to attempt to pick it up from him. Um, a while ago, a commander sheet got fed through the foil stamp machine uh, backwards, um, and the margins on each side of the sheet are in are different sizes. So the foil stamps were not only on the wrong cards at the wrong side, but also shifted over a little bit. Um, looking at looking closely at the stamps, you can tell that yes, the stamps are currently upside down. Now the stamps are right side up, and the cards are upside down. Um, those are the only two artworks of planes that I've seen with that error. Those were the only two in the commander deck. Uh huh. Um, but the error can happen to I other mean, commander sure, decks. Can, yeah. Um, sideways miscut. Did you not, why did you not pick up the sheet edge one? That came out? Which sheet edge one? The Japanese one. I don't remember seeing it. Oh, so you like you were you were following the post, but you didn't. That would be a problem. Huh. Yeah. Because I messed up. I mean, I'm fine with that. I have it now. Um, uh, this is a Savannah in this deck because I care very much about the ability to play this in a sanctioned event. Um, the Rebecca Gwayland had some interesting issues with the foiling. Foils come up great on camera, especially when sleeved. So... Uh, there are these streaks going across from the border uh, into the mana symbol. Um, sheet edge with a little bit of text. Uh, a nice factory cut 8-9 planes. It is my uh, strongest planes and also my toughest planes. Um, and Do you mean your, more, your most powerful planes? Yes, my most powerful planes and my toughest planes. And a planes with an upside down front. Um, the front is upside down and the back is normal. Because if the front were right side up and the back were upside down, then A, nobody would be able to tell when I played in, in a sleeved deck. 
and B, it would be slightly less pedantic, because I do believe that the back was printed first and is thus correct. Uh, and the front was printed second incorrectly with respect to the rest of the card. And that gets through that deck. What else did I have here? Um, I got this Theros Plains today from Kevin with a centered back and foil. Um, this Plains does not have a type. Whoa, I have not seen that one before. It sort of has a type. Um, there is a color, there is a blob uh, on the ink black layer, or the text black layer, um, that goes over the name, you, uh, that goes over the type line. So the type line is obscured, and also the text box doesn't have any text black, which might matter if it weren't a basic land. And you can see on the border it's a little lighter. Yep. This is really nice. I want that. I know I'm not getting it, but I want it. Um, picked up that today. Picked up a bunch of stuff. I, I guess I already had this one with um, black ink bleed on the left that doesn't show up on camera with the sleeve on. And doesn't show up very well without a sleeve on. Look, a lot of these are way better in person than on camera. Yeah, I'm trying. I apologize for the shitty cameras. Like, that that's all on me. These yes. are just commercial off-the-shelf, target, generic, like... Is there a way to make it autofocus when you hold a card up? Yes, but How? it won't. Oh, it won't. So yeah, no. it's got a... It's got, this is... These webcams are designed for people to, like, Skype with their grandmas, you know? Like, it, you're not going to, like, hold the card up and have it, like, focus nice and crisp. You need a different type of sound. As an that. admin of the mystery group, I expect a better example. Um, <laughs> that sounds I have like an off-center <laughs> snow-covered <laughs> planes, right, right, right. but it doesn't show another card, so... Yeah. I mean, I could stream with a digital SLR, but, like, um, that's not good for the camera. I'm told that altars aren't any good. Um, no, Misprints, they're cool. We love you for bringing it. <laughs> yeah, this actually is really awesome. Yeah, I think the setup worked out. Um, you know, minus the glaring a bunch of new planes that I got from Kevin. So a bunch of new planes I got from Kevin, uh, most of which are similar to other things. All of this is mine. Got a nice sheet that. edge. Okay. And are those all of more that color bar. Got it, okay. With the inclusion of this. Okay. <laughs> and that is... And the GoPro is mine. Uh, the the best of the planes that I have with me today. Okay. Right now, at this moment. Did you go through your soldier deck? Uh, soldier deck currently has no planes. In it. Those are in here. I trade those between soldiers and EDH quite frequently. All right, well that was awesome. Uh, thank you for showing us that. Does anybody have any last questions to pie about planes before we move to Travis and with his mountain collection? Do you have your mountains, by the way? Huh? Do you have your mountains? I do. They're right here. Awesome. Now, once I finish putting things away, I will... That will be the cutoff for questions. Or, you know, 20 seconds before that will be the cutoff for questions. Good old stream lag. Uh, metagaming, you're banned, right? I don't know where they went. What? Oh, one other one that is a neat error is from M12. Some planes were printed with very heavy cyan on the backs. It would be better if I had, you know, more from the same set, but the only M12 planes that I have have very cyan backs. 